What's up y'all? Thank you for coming back to LT Locks. Joining me for another video. Go ahead and subscribe, like this video. I feel like this is gonna be some good content for you. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, I haven't done a braid out in a, a long time. I think the last time I did a braid out, my hair was maybe right here. It was kind of short. Um, and so I said, let me try a braid out on my new and improved two year length locks. So I'll show you how I achieved this look with just water and rubber bands. So I'm starting on freshly washed hair. I washed my hair actually um, the day before and let it air dry. I don't know why, I don't, I don't know. I just give it a chance to air dry before I really style it for real. But I'm just using some rubber bands, some water in a spray bottle. I do not know where my continuous spray bottle is, but I need that. And um, just a, a scrunchie uh, to get my hair out the way. I don't know where that continuous spray bottle is. It's somewhere lost in, a in my bathroom probably. Um, didn't feel like looking for it before I started doing my braid out. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just sectioning off um, my hair so I can kind of work my way from the bottom up. And um, excuse me if you see me mouthing some words, I'm on the phone with uh, one of my friends. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so just moving my hair up, putting in a little ponytail bun, and then um, working with the back, this back section. So I'm just spraying my hair with water. That's all I'm using for this is water and those rubber bands. Nothing else is in that spray bottle. And the water is just to give it, um, make it easier for me to braid and give something to dry so it can dry into its form using water. Sometimes people use uh, foams and things like that or gels if you have like loose natural hair. Um, and your hair dries, you know, with that gel cast. Um, but this is just water. So the braid out honestly lasted me two days. Um, I guess if I wanted a little bit more hold, I could have um, used some foam for a little bit more home, for a little more hold. Uh, but I was just, you know, interested in just doing a quick braid out seeing how it turned out now that my hair is a little bit longer because I did this um, one time before two times before and my hair was shorter but this really just adds volume and adds you know some texture to your locks which I enjoy I don't go all the way down um, I actually leave a little bit of space right there it's just easier when you're taking down so you're not like damaging your locks if they're not all the way closed at the bottom, which mine still aren't. I still got some curlies at the bottom of my locks. Even though they're locking, you know, it still is just, you know, kind of open and curled. And so I don't want really want to damage those. So I did all of my hair. I kind of parted it in a way where, um, you know, I could rock it on the side because I know y'all know I love a side part. And after 20 something minutes of doing this, I'm still on the phone with my home girl. We needed to stop talking. It was a late night. <laughs> but anyway, this is the last braid. I don't know how many braids I had, but I, that first, that bottom row was four. I think I had five in, in the second row. I did a third row with another five. And then the top area was like six. So math. Math ain't mathing. Anyways, I'm just securing these with the rubber band. It, it'll probably help if y'all had like colorful rubber bands so you could see where the rubber band is when you're taking it down. For some reason, this was given coil array to me. So I might, I might rock this um, out one day. Who knows? <laughs> I need to chill. Anyways, this is the next day. I just went to bed. Um, I had a bonnet on at night, went to bed, woke up. Didn't take these down until after I was fully, you know, done with my makeup or just some, I just put some eyebrows on, honestly, y'all. I don't really do that much makeup in the mornings. Um, but so I'm just gonna take this, try to be as careful as possible taking this rubber band out. Again, this is kind of, it can be kind of tricky depending on how tight you made the rubber band, but just take your time. I get annoyed with it as you see me 
trying to destroy this damn rubber band. <laughs> Anywho, you just start um, unraveling the braid. I didn't use any oil or anything on my hair or hands. Um, some people do that, especially like if you're loose natural, people do that. Um, but I didn't see the need. I'm just letting it do its thing and um, unraveling this braid. It's taking me a minute to unravel this braid, <laughs> but thank y'all for sticking with me. <laughs> also, I just saw a text message on my phone, so that's why I'm looking like, what is this? <sighs> Anywho. I always, I love braid outs. I love twist outs. I just don't do a lot of them because um, it just it just takes time, time that I feel like I don't need to do to to use. Um, but it just adds texture, man. So much texture and volume. And I really enjoyed doing this when I first got my locks established because it just gave it a, a little bit more of a fuller look. Even though you know I was looking a little crazy, my little thin locks when I first got out the chair. But you can see that texture, baby. Okay. We got some texture going on. The braid out is braid outing. I love when a style comes together. And voila. Okay. It's giving texture. It's giving full. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving braid out. Now this could last this could last um, for a while, depending on how you, you know, sleep on your hair or whatnot, how you tie it up and if you use any other products. So again, I just use water, um, but if you use a foam, it can last a little bit longer than two days. But thank y'all for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.